Hello, I hope you're safe, you're well, and you're holding up great in this very strange year, <laughs> we can say for 2020. Anyway, if you're seeing this video in 2021, I hope everything is going great. You know, it's not like uh, things are going right now in the world. Now, let's go into the video. On this video, I'm going to show you five features, five features that uh, I use a lot of times in Final Cut Pro 10. They are kind of hidden and um, probably most of you don't know already. So what do you say? Let's start. Precision Editor, something that you really don't have to use all the time. However, there are scenarios and situations where it gets so much handy. To access the Precision Editor, you double click on the cut between two clips, an extended view pops up. You see these markers here? Yep. These show where the cuts are. You can either grab these markers and adjust your cut, or skim over the clip, find the point you want to cut it, and simply click there to adjust the cut. Save effects as preset. You have done all the color grading, you have placed all the effects that you want in your clip, you have one, two, three, four, five effects, and you say, you know, I might need that in the future as well. So, by pressing the save effects as presets on the inspector panel, you can save all the settings, all the different settings that you stacked up in your clip, and you can use them for future use in the future videos without needing to place them from the beginning. The Optical Flow. Optical Flow is a feature in Final Cut Pro 10 that lets you create a super slow motion footage. Usually when you want to have the correct slow motion on your footage, you need to record in the highest frames per second you can in your camera, and then you slow down to reach the frames of your project in post. As an example, for a 24 frames per second project, if you shoot 60 frames per second, then you can slow down uh, up to 50% without having any choppiness in the slow motion footage. Optical Flow now lets you have this slow motion even when your footage is not in high frame rates. You can see more details on this effect and how to use it on my other video that is popping right now, here or here, or in the link that you will find in the description of this video. The Ken Burns. The Ken Burns effect creates a pan and zoom movement with start and end points that you can set. This effect works the best to add motion in your footage and even fake camera movements. You can access the Ken Burns effect by clicking into this icon here and then select crop and then Ken Burns. For the Ken Burns effect, you simply select the start point, you select the end point, and you leave the Ken Burns effect to do all this magic. You already know that when you scroll over the effects on the effects panel, you can preview how the effect will look. What you probably don't know though is that if you press the option or Alt key on your keyboard while you're scrolling, you can preview the effect in different opacities as well. For those of you who watched until this long on this video, I want to say thank you, you rock, and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and also like this video, if you have any questions, place it in the comment section down below, and share the look. If you know anyone who is going to use Final Cut Pro 10 or is using Final Cut Pro 10 and doesn't know my channel, now is the time also. New chips, M1, new MacBooks, new Mac Minis. I believe Final Cut Pro 10 is coming in hot in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.